Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a new video all about a life lesson called, You Call That an Apology? Are you sick of seeing all these public apology videos on YouTube? Are you left wondering what exactly are they sorry for? In today's video, we're going to tackle the basics of a genuine apology, how to do it, when to do it, and when you're not ready for it. Here's the basic outline of an apology. First, you need to admit what you've done wrong and then accept responsibility for your actions. Both of these should be I statements. I'm sorry, I. Explain why it was wrong and your understanding of how you hurt the other person. Then you need to ask for forgiveness. At this point, you need to offer what you think is the best way to remedy the situation. You also need to give them the space to either agree or give you another option that they think best fits the situation. Either way, you immediately change your behavior. An apology without change is only manipulation. The last part of the apology should be you explaining what you've learned and how you avoid the situation in the future. At this point, you can start rebuilding any trust that was lost in the situation. Now you need to recognize when to apologize. Obviously, if you're not sorry, it's not time to apologize. Another red flag would be if you're still upset or you can't see the situation from the other person's point of view, you're not ready to apologize either. It will only make the situation worse and one of you will become resentful of the other and that's dangerous territory for a relationship. There are two words that will cancel out whatever you are attempting to apologize for, but and if. If you can't put together an apology without saying, I'm sorry, but I, or I'm sorry if you, you're not sorry and you're not ready to apologize. So to sum it up, give a genuine apology at the right time. If you are truly apologetic, words will not be enough and it will not matter to you how difficult or how long it may take to make amends. Sometimes the best apology is change behavior. Now I know there's some of you saying, but Jess, I never received that apology. Trust me, I know what it's like to not get the apology that you want, fully deserve and think that you need. There's going to be a follow-up video to this that's all about forgiveness even when you don't receive the apology. You've reached the end of the video. Thanks for watching guys. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I'm going to start posting these videos on Thursday and Sunday. If you enjoy them, could you share that around on social media? So now the question of the day. Now that it's fall outside, it's getting a little colder, the leaves are changing, and pumpkin spice everything has landed. What is your favorite fall tradition? I'll share mine down in the comments below. See you next time.